2006. How you doing? I'm here with Michael Grace, lead designer and president of Grace Designs. And here at AES, they are rolling out the 801, M801, uh, mic preamp, an eight-channel mic preamp. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, what you were uh, trying to do with this particular uh, set of components and, and this whole unit? Well, the basic design concept uh, behind this preamplifier is to, to create a preamp that's absolutely invisible in the signal chain, something that's very musical, um, something that you can rely on to get all the information from your microphones and from your source onto your workstation without any coloration whatsoever. And that gives you the most opportunity later to manipulate your sound in any way you want. Um, but the, you can only lose resolution by you know applying colored technology to your recording chain up front. So the idea here is to get everything recorded as, as cleanly as possible and then your options will be wide open after the fact um, for manipulating the sounds however you might need to. And since coloration is uh, since coloration wasn't a design goal here, yeah. is there a, is there a class of microphone that you would recommend for use with it? Well, um, we use all kinds of microphones with this preamp, and that's what's really great about it is that you can really choose your sound characteristic based on the instrument you're recording and the microphone that you want to select, and and that part of your palette will be faithfully reproduced by the by the 801, no matter what kind of microphone you're using. Uh, the recent addition in features to the M801 compared to its predecessor, the 801, uh, you can see here the ribbon switch. Um, basically that uh, applies 10 dB of extra gain to the amplifier since most ribbons have a very low output level. It disables the phantom power so you can't accidentally turn on phantom power and blow up your, your vintage microphone. Um, it bypasses the phantom power coupling capacitor so there's less circuitry in the signal path. And lastly, it raises the input impedance to a high imp uh, impedance level that ribbon microphones like. Interesting, interesting. Um, and uh, the uh, the other controls, and it's a very, uh, very uh, as you can see, a very clean, very simple uh, faceplate design with a brushed aluminum, I guess that is? Uh, it's actually stainless steel. Oh, stainless steel. Yep. Terrific. Um, you have a 20 dB attenuator, a phase reverse control, and if you're not in ribbon mode, you have phantom power. The gain controls are gold-plated, 24 position, Swiss-made rotary switches, Elma switches. They're, de they're detented, right? They're, they're detented switches that use precision uh, metal film resistors for each gain step. We don't use potentiometers for setting the gain in a mic preamplifier. Um, Potentiometers just have too many nonlinearities, and, and, and uh, it's difficult to get repeatable gain settings, um, especially at high gain levels on a potentiometer. So, uh, all of our mic preamps use uh, switched precision metal film resistors for the gain setting. All right, terrific. Well, thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Talk about the M801. Yeah. 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 Yeah.